All right, guys, we'll get started. Let me just turn the meeting room off and spotlight myself here. Excellent. Okay, so we're always starting uh, these sessions on a Friday morning. We've got uh, a little bit of yoga, we've got a little bit of yoga, we've got a little bit of Pilates, and then we're going to practice some, uh, some deep breathing, some meditation at the end, okay? So it's a bit different. All right, some of you may not have done it before or you may have just done it with uh, myself last week and Michelle the week before some of these movements, but uh, it's good to see you here. Give it, a, give it, give it your best shot. Um, before we start our practice, we're always in a mountain pose. So come to the back of your mat. Really, really simple mountain pose is just standing straight up. Big, big toes, get your feet together. Okay, get your feet together. All right, we're standing up nice and straight. Our legs are long. All right, we're going to start with our hands here, okay, at our heart center, what we call our heart center, so pressing your palms together right in front of your chest, all right, and again, a lot of this practice is about breathing, okay, so it's not just about getting into the movement, stretching, core strength, that sort of stuff as well, it's about understanding how your breath integrates with each movement, all right, which is a really powerful practice. So we're starting here, what we're going to do now is as we take a big deep breath in, we're going to swing our arms around and out, so big deep breath in, through your nose, reach up as tall as you possibly can, okay, and then with your breath out, you're going to go back in reverse, so we breathe out, and come back to heart center, hands together, alright, so that's our mountain pose, we're just going to go through that five times, before we do our next five reps, another thing I want to teach you guys about, and again, you bear with me here a little bit because some of this is a little bit uh, out there for you guys probably in terms of the deep breathing, the meditation and stuff. But before you start a yoga practice or a Pilates practice, a really good habit to get into is always to set an intention for your practice. Okay? And what that means is, what's your intent today? Why are you doing the yoga today? Why did you show up to today's class? Why have you given yourself the time to come to your mat today and, and just start your day off this way? Okay, so for me, right, my intention for today is to be able to pass some of this knowledge on to you guys, um, but also for me, it's about setting up my day. Okay, so we're doing this on a Friday morning. I want to come back to my breath, all right? I want to get into a really good headspace before I start my day, day of work and exercise and all the stuff I've got to do. Okay, so it just gives me a chance to set an intention before we start our practice, right? So, five mountain poses. We start with hands at heart center. Big deep breath in, up and hold, and big deep breath out, our mouth and back to the middle. All right, five of those at your own pace. Here we go. Back to heart center, three more. Good job, two more. Okay, that's our five mountain poses. We're going to go into our sun salutations now. So, with our sun salutations, again, we're just building on that movement. So, we've done our mountain pose. Most of our yoga poses will start with a mountain pose. Now, we're going to build into a sun salutation. So, we're going to add some almost like a plank movement, some downward dog, um, some, some up, upward dog, different movements that are going to be stretching, okay, and lengthening your muscles, warming up your body. Um, but breathing is still the absolute foundation of what we're doing. So whatever you're doing, whatever movement you're following along with me, make sure you're still breathing. And with each movement, try and make it so that each movement is either a breath in or a breath out. Okay, if you're not totally in sync with me, that doesn't matter too much, but just try and make sure the movements are going with your breath. Okay, so for our sun salutations, I'll do my first one at the front of the mat, facing you guys. We start again in mountain pose. All right, so we're here at the top of our mat now. So now you need to be, so we're going to step back. So you need to be lengthways with your mat. All right, so I'm, I'm right at the top of my mat now. Up we get, we start in mountain pose. We're doing five sun salutations here. So again, deep breath in, arms up overhead. 
Okay, and breath out. As we breathe out now, we're going to actually bend at our hips and come all the way forward to get our hands to our toes, if we can get them to, the, to our toes or to the ground, wherever you can reach. You might just be able to reach your shins. Okay, so I'm going to come sideways to the screen now. So again, we are coming to that forward fold. From here, I want you to take a deep breath in and come up to a flat back position. Okay, so for me, that's hands on my shins. For you guys, it might be hands on your knees, or it might even be hands on your ankles if you've got nice long arms. Okay, but for me, it's hands on my, just below my knees, and that gets me to a nice flat back. Okay, so I'm taking a deep breath into here. I'm going to breathe out again through my mouth and come down with my hands to the ground. All right, from here, I'm going to step my right foot back. Okay, hold gently for a second, then I'm going to step my left foot back and I'm into the top of a push up. Okay, so I'm into the top of a push up here. Again, still controlling my breath, I hold here, then I slowly lower my body to the ground, which is called Nashtanga. I'm slowly lowering to the ground. I come totally to the ground, so my chest is on the ground, my hands are still, are still pressing into the, into the mat. I unfurl my toes, so the flat to my foot are on the ground. And from here, I'm going to gently push into up dog. So I'm pushing through my hands, and I'm, I'm bringing my chest up off the ground. There's Luna, she's doing her best downward dog impersonation just there. Okay, so I'm, I'm into an up dog now. All right, so I've got my chest off the ground, but my hips and my legs are all still on the ground. Okay, from there, I'm going to slowly lower back down, lower my chest to the ground. I'm going to curl my toes under now. Okay, so I'm curling my toes under my body. And in one motion, I'm going to push up and then back into a down dog. So that hips up to the sky. Again, we're going to hold here. We're going to hold here for two or three breaths. In through our nose, out through our mouth. You can pedal your feet here if you like. Go one leg and then the other, bend one knee and then the other, get a nice calf stretch. Once we've done our breathing there, we're going to tiptoe, just like our inchworms that we did last night. We're going to tiptoe our feet up to meet our hands. Okay. Then, now we're back in that forward fold position. Okay, big deep breath in from here, one vertebrae at a time. I'm swinging my arms around and up to the roof up as high as I can, and I'm going to breathe out and bring hands to heart centre, okay? So that's one sun salutation. We're going to go through five of those. I'm going to talk you through the movements. Hopefully you can see the camera and you can follow along with me as well. All right, so starting hands at heart centre, five sun salutations. I'll keep an eye on you guys as well. So start hands at heart centre. Okay, big deep breath in, swing our arms around and up, stretch up as high as we can. Big deep breath out, now into a forward fold. So we come down into a forward fold. Try and get our fingers to our toes or hands to the floor if we can. Big deep breath in and we come flat back. So halfway up position, breathe out. And come all the way to the carpet, to the mat again, hands to the mat. Now we're going to step back with our right leg, so we're into a bit of a, a lunge, like a high lunge. Okay, I've got my knee off the ground, I've got my knee straight. That's a nice little, just a gentle hip flexor stretch. Now I'm going to go right leg back, so now I'm into the top of a push-up. So I should have my hands directly under my shoulder, so I can hold this position for a second. And then as I breathe out, I'm going to slowly lower my body to the carpet or to the mat. All right, I come down here completely for a second. I unfurl my toes, so the flats of my foot are on the ground, and I'm pushing up into up dog. Okay, you can look up to the roof. This is a really good stretch for your abdominals. Front of our, front of our stomach. Slowly, all the way back down to the carpet or to the mat. Tuck your toes under again. Tuck your toes under, and in one motion, we push up and back into a down dog. Down dog. You can adjust your feet if you need to. The idea in this down dog position is we make almost like a perfect triangle. You can see with my body there, the 
between my hands and my hips is pretty straight. And from my hips down to my heels is pretty straight. And again, we're just taking three deep breaths here. You can pedal your feet, stretch out your calves if you like. And tippy toe, keeping our legs straight, our feet all the way up to our hands. We're in that forward fold position. Now we swing, big deep breath in, one vertebrae at a time, swing our arms around. Reach up and swing it back through, breathing out, hands the heart center. Okay? That's one, all right? We're gonna go through five of those now. So I'm gonna go with less instruction, okay? Less instruction and more just talking you through when I'm breathing and what movements I'm doing. Try and follow along with me just by watching, okay? I don't know if you guys can see Luna here. You probably can't, she's absolutely passed out. So whatever yoga music I've got playing here is obviously working, it's keeping it very calm. Okay, we're gonna start, hands at heart center. All right, hands at heart center. We've got four more sun salutations. We're gonna, we're gonna move through these, not quickly, but with purpose, all right? So our body should really start to warm up here before we get into our plays. All right, here we go. So we breathe in. Breathe out and forward fold. Step right foot back into a high lunge. Step left, left foot back and we're into the top of a push up. Breathe out and lower body down. Unfurl your toes, breathe in into up dog. Breathe out, lower your body down. Big breath in to down dog. And two or three big deep breaths here. Pedal your toes if you need to. Tippy toe our hands, our feet, sorry, we our hands. Big deep breath in, around and up, high, breath out, back to heart center. Okay, here we go again. Big deep breath in, up, reach up nice and high. Big deep breath out, forward fold. Halfway up, breathe in. Breathe out and come down. Let's step left leg back. And right leg back. Top of a push up, we breathe out and we slowly lower down. Untuck our toes. Big breath in, push up into up dog. Big breath out, slowly down. Up our toes again and push up into down dog, big breath in. And then two or three big deep breaths in and out here. And we tippy toe our feet up to meet our hands. Job, guys, we've got two to go. Two to go. So we swing around and up. And out and forward fold. Halfway up. Halfway up, flat back position, deep breath. And breathe out, hands to the ground. Breathe in, step our right leg back. Little hip stretch. Breathe out, left leg back, we're into the top of a push-up here. Top of a push-up. Big breath out, we slowly lower our body down. Untuck our toes. Big breath in to up dog. Looking under the roof if you can, if that doesn't hurt your neck. Big breath out, lower your upper body down. And big breath in here to down dog. Two or three big deep breaths here. And 
And tippy toe. Hands to feet to meet hands. Hold in this forward fold. Big deep breath in. All the way up overhead and out to heart center. Okay, last one here, guys. Last one, you're doing really well. I can see all of you following along, doing a terrific job. Last one here, so it's really, I'm just gonna stay pretty silent for this one. Um, I'll try and be quiet, which is rare for me. You guys just breathe, okay? You just focus on your breathing, follow the movement yourself, just have fun playing around with the movement yourself. It doesn't matter if you forget where you're at, try and look up and see me. I'll jump back here so you can see me side on. If you forget where you're at in the movement, have a peek and just jump back in, okay? Here we go. Start at heart center, you guys take the lead here. Great job, guys. Excellent. Well done. How are we going? Everyone get through their five? Well done. Grab a quick drink, guys. My drink's up here. One sec. Well done, guys. So that's sun salutations. Really like nice, easy, basic sort of yoga movement. But a really good movement to combine some, uh, some deep breathing, um, some lengthening. Okay, we get a good stretch in our calves, our hamstrings. Uh, we get a great stretch for our abdominals and our, our upper body. A uh, little bit moving. So, what we're going to do now, just to finish off our yoga, open up our hips a little bit because there wasn't too much hip opening there, is we're just going to practice some yogi squats. Okay, before we go into our Pilates yogi squat, we do it. We do it sort of as a part of our warm up in our other sessions. It's really just. We get a nice wide stance, all right? We can have our feet pointing sort of out on a 45 degree angle, whatever's comfortable for you. Okay, we come down as deep as we can possibly can into that squat. Okay, we come down as deep as we can. For me, that's not that deep. <laughs> for you guys, it might be, you might be able to get your bum all the way to the ground. If I bring my feet a little bit closer together, I can get a little bit lower and open up my hips a bit more. Wet hands at heart center, okay? Hands at heart center. You might be able to press your uh, elbows on the inside of your knees. If you want to do that, you can, okay? You can get down low enough. You want to press your elbows on the inside of your knees. And we're just going to sit down in that squat for five breaths, okay? So five deep breaths in and out. We're going to get really comfortable being strong and stable down in that low squat position, all right? So this is a really good yoga movement, but it also has a lot of transferable benefits to basketball, obviously, because we have to stay down in that defensive stance, in that athletic stance with a good, strong core, okay? So here we go, get your feet set, come down into that bottom of that squat. Okay, don't just sit in your hips, make sure your muscles are activated, but we're nice and relaxed still as well. Focusing on our breathing here, hands at heart center, five big deep breaths in and out. Here we go. Start to learn how your body feels when you actually breathe deep into your lungs while you're in these positions. That's three, we've got two more. Really 
fill your tank with this last breath. Breathe right into your ears. Good job, and come up. Well done, guys. Shake it out a little bit. We're going to move into our Pilates, okay? So coming down to your mat, we're going to be flat on our back. We've got three movements we're going to go through twice, 20 reps of each. I'm going to take you through the three movements. The first set, the first set is our dead bug, okay? It's called a dead bug because you look like a dead bug when you're doing it, okay? So the first set is our dead bug. Our knees are directly over our hips. We did this last week. Our shins are nice and straight, okay, so our shins aren't dangling like that, we're keeping them active, so our knees are active. Our back is flat on the mat, okay, remember neutral spine. So I've talked about neutral spine before, okay. I'll tighten my shirt here so you can see the difference, hopefully, from there. So the neutral spine, if my shirt is tight and I, my back is arched, okay, so if my back is arched, that's not neutral spine. Remember the, um, the metaphor of the grape. Okay, so I should be able to come along and put a fresh grape under my lower back, right in the middle of my spine, okay? And I should be able to feel the grape, okay? I should be able to press my lower back gently down on the grape, but not press down so hard that I squish the grape, okay? And try and imagine that while you're doing this. So knees up, arms straight up like so, okay? And we're alternating, right arm goes back as left leg stretches out. We come back to the middle, left arm stretches back as right leg, right arm, so left arm stretches back as right leg stretches out, and we continue to alternate like that. Okay? We're doing 20 of those. Okay, 20 of those. Here we go. We're gonna give 20 of those a crack before we move on to our next exercise. Here we go. One, two, trying to maintain neutral spine throughout. Three, four, five, enjoy your breathing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. Okay, next one we've got a side lying leg lift. So I'm going to start on my right hand side here. I'm going to tuck my, I'm going to tuck my right knee under and I'm going to keep my left leg straight. Okay. From here, I'm going to push up onto my right leg. Okay, so I'm making a little bit of a side plank with my right knee and my right elbow. And from here, I'm just going to lift my left leg up like so. Okay, so I'm keeping my left leg straight, but I'm just kicking that up to the side. I'm making sure my hips stay locked in here. Okay, we're doing 20 of those on each leg. So 20 right, 20 left. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job. Rotate it. I'm on my left now. So I come onto my left elbow. On my left elbow, and now I'm kicking, and I've got I'm pushing up into my elbow, so I'm up. I've got my hips lifted, and I'm kicking my right leg up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and 20. Good job. Whew, that burns the glutes a bit. And the last one we're doing is called a plank rock. So we're into a plank position and we're going to rock our body weight backwards and forwards. So what I mean by that is we come into a nice solid plank like so. And we're doing 20 of these movements here. So we're going to do a plank on our toes. 
Okay, our shoulders directly over our elbows, and we're pushing up on our toes, and we're moving our body weight back and forward. So we're rocking to right to our tippy toes, back to the balls of our feet, tippy toes, balls of our feet. Okay, we're doing 20 of those movements. Here we go. Come to a plank, up into a plank, and here we go for 20. One, two, three, tighten your three core and glutes, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, four more, seventeen, eighteen, Nineteen, twenty. Great work, guys. Okay, so that's the first circuit of our Pilates done. How are we doing for time here? Okay, we're going to move on to our stretches. So we've got some stretches. There's still, there's still a little bit of, uh, still a little bit of core involved. But the first movement. Again, we're onto our backs, or we're on our, on our bums, I should say. Our shoulders are going to be off the ground, okay? But essentially what we're doing, your lower back can be on the ground, okay? Your shoulders are off the ground, okay? We're stretching our legs out, and then bringing our knees together in and tucking them up, okay? Stretch them out and stretch your arms wide. Okay, so as your legs go out, your arms go wide, as your legs come in, wrap your hands around your knees and tuck your knees in towards your chest. So it's a little bit of a glute stretch, a little bit of a lower back stretch, okay? We're gonna do 20 of those. Here we go. So there's one. There's two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway, ten more. Eleven, twelve, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Abs are burning a little bit. Good job, guys. Okay. Second to last exercise before we get into our deep breathing quickly to finish off. Same thing. Okay. Our shoulders are off the ground slightly, but we're scissor kicking. Okay. So one leg straight out, one leg straight up. You can have your hand behind your knee or, or behind your hamstring, like so. Okay. And we're just alternating legs. Okay, so we're just swinging one leg and then the other. So a little bit of a hamstring stretch, but a little bit of core work as well. Make sure your legs stay straight. We're doing 20 of those total, so 10 on each leg. Here we go. I'm going to start with my right leg up, and now we're switching. One, two, three. Keep your legs straight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, good work guys, keep going. 13, 14, 15, 16, good job. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Well done guys. Last Pilates movement. Okay, we've got our arms nice and wide like so. We've got our knees up over our chest and this is just to loosen up our lower back. It's called a pendulum. All right, so knees are up and together, feet are together. We're just rocking our knees to our left and then swinging our knees over to our right. Okay, as you do this movement, your knees don't have to touch the ground. Okay, you don't have to get your knees all the way to the ground. Just make sure you keep your shoulders flat on the floor. 
keep your shoulders flat on the floor. I don't care how far your knees come down. Mine don't touch the ground either. We're just pendulum from right to left and back. So 20 total, 10 each way. Here we go, knees up. There's one to my left and two to my right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 17, keep going, 3 more, 18, 19, keep your knees and feet together, 20. Oh. Great work guys, great job, okay, finish off. We're gonna finish off with our box breathing, we did it last week. Okay, so I want you guys to come up, or you don't have to come up into a seated position, you can lie down if you like. I prefer to be in a seated position. Remember, with any of this meditative stuff, okay, there's no right or wrong way to meditate, okay? We're doing it a certain way here. We're focusing on a little bit of deep breathing. You guys can do it however you like. For you, meditating you might just be listening to music, okay? Uh, it might be going for a walk. It might be walking your dog. Could be a million different things, but I find that having an actual daily meditative practice, as in just sitting down with either a guided meditation through one of the Headspace apps or the Calm app or something, um, or just having some meditative music on, like you might be able to hear in the background, just for five minutes, um, I find that really sets up my day, okay? And helps me stay nice and clear um, and focused. So get yourself set right now. I'm just gonna go grab my yoga block. Give me one sec. Hi. Okay, so I've got my block coming to my position. I like to sit up straight on my block. Okay, so I like to sit up on my block like this and get a little hip stretch as well. So I come into sort of a cross legged position. You guys don't have to do that. So all we're doing here, all we're doing here is box breathing. So we did this last week. When I say box breathing, what I mean is we close our eyes and we visualize a big box in, in our vision, okay? And there's a little bit of sunlight moving along the box, okay? So if I draw a line up the left-hand side of the box, I'm gonna breathe in for three seconds. So one, two, three. Then I'm gonna breathe out along the top. One, two, three. I'm gonna breathe in down the other side. One, two, three. And then I'm gonna breathe out along the bottom. One, two, three, and we're back to the start. Okay, so that's our box breathing. So it's three second breath in, three second breath out, okay, around our little box here, our square. We're gonna do that five times, all right? And we're gonna just finish really quickly with some visualization, okay? So here we go with our box breathing. You guys can close your eyes, you can lie down, you can turn your camera off, I don't mind, okay? I'm going to close my eyes and visualize my square here. Okay, here we go. Breath in for three. One, two, three. Breathing out for three. Breathe in for three. Breathe out for three. That's one round, that's one box. Here we go. Breathe in for three. Breathe out for three. Breathe in for three. Breathe out for three. That's two. Breathe in for three. 
it out when you're ready. So you keep this breathe. Breathe out. Two to go. I'm going to let you guys do the last two on your own without my voice, okay? Two, two full rounds. Three seconds in, three seconds out twice. Here we go. As you finish that, before you hop up, before you come out of whatever position you were doing your deep breathing, I just want you to close your eyes again. We're going to continue to deep breathe just for about 30 seconds. But I want you guys to visualize a spot of sunlight in the middle of your chest. Okay, so visualization is a really powerful tool as well. Okay, visualization it can be anything, okay, but to begin practicing it as a, as a skill, it's really nice and easy, especially on such a bright, sunny day like today. Okay, if you've got some natural sunlight around, take a look at the window, take a look outside. I want you to close your eyes and picture a, a dot, you know, no more than a, maybe the size of an M&M &M in the middle of your chest, all right, and that's sunlight, okay? And as you take your deep breaths in and out, that dot grows, okay? So maybe it starts as the size of an M&M &M and it grows to the size of a Malteser, okay? And it's slowly expanding within you that sunlight. Okay? I want you to close your eyes and envision that growing and growing and growing until it's the size of a basketball, a beach ball, and a gym ball, until that sunlight covers your entire body. Okay, so close your eyes, four or five big deep breaths in and out, picturing that, that dot of sunlight growing. Hopefully that dot of sunlight is covering your whole body now. Gently open your eyes again if you haven't already, guys. Great work today, okay? I know it's some different stuff. You can come up out of your position now or you can stay there as long as you like, okay? But our session's finished. So thank you all for attending today. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Um, have a great day at school if you're doing school today and uh, we're, we're into our last week of Blues From Home stuff next week on Sunday. No worries, Chase. So we start on Sunday with Abby, um, back again with me Monday morning, guys. So stay positive, stay healthy, stay happy. Get outside and enjoy the sun today. Get outside and play. Chase and Kai, play some one-on-one. -on -one. Get out there and play some one-on-one -on -one and hoop against each other and um, just enjoy being outside. Okay, guys? Great job. See you later, everyone. Thank you. Have a great Thank you. day. Good on you guys. See you later. See you, Bree. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome, man. See ya.